Before you do anything in this video, this is for demo purposes only. I am not responsible for any unintended results to your device. If you use this and you use any of the apps and you uninstall them, I am not going to help you reinstall them. That's up to you. I have done this to my device and had no problems, and this is done as a test. Okay, so uh, just remember to do a backup before you make any changes to your system. Now, you want to open up your PowerShell as an administrator. I just go to the W section of my uh, drop down and then open up PowerShell, right click and click as administrator. Uh, then your window should open and now you are an admin in PowerShell. And you can see at the top there, it does say administrator. Now what you wanna do is, and I will include this text in the description of this video. Uh, you just wanna cut, copy and paste into your uh, PowerShell window and uh, how I found it is I just right clicked on it on the text and then uh, copied and then I just went over to my PowerShell window and then I right clicked twice and that actually pasted the text Then you just hit enter and you're good to go it will drop down the text uh, into that window and as soon as you hit enter it removes it as soon as the cursor comes back it is removed. Now, I don't have Xbox, I don't have Windows Phone, and uh, I really don't use the Weather app or uh, Bing or Skype uh, or Office or Zoom, so these are all apps. Now, I sometimes use uh, OneNote, but I figured if I really need it, I'll put it back in. Um, but everything else I really don't use, so if you're in that same situation, I figured you know, you might want to do this. Now, a couple of quick maintenance tips. Uh, in the uh, properties, uh, in advanced tab and performance settings, the first three under the, if you click on custom, you can just unclick those. They are not needed. Uh, they're just animations. And if, you're a computer, if you want your computer to run really fast, it's one of the things I recommend. Uh, now you can go into properties of your C drive and you can click on disk cleanup. Now you should know how to do this, but maybe you don't. Uh, but when you clean this out, you're taking all your temporary internet files out. I've done this all the time, so I hardly have anything in there. Uh, you know, but this will clean out your windows and uh, make it run uh, peak performance. And you just click OK. Uh, and it'll ask you if you're sure. You just click delete. And that just cleaned out a lot of your file systems that are unnecessary. Um, now you can go and right click on the Windows symbol. That symbol will take you to another menu and you can open up your taskbar right from there. And then you want to go to uh, your startup tab. And your startup tab has a bunch of apps that start up when you first reboot Windows. And these are a bunch of applications that you really don't need running all the time. I mean, if you want them to run, as you can see, I've disabled most of them. You know, I have some that I want to run in the background because that'll allow certain applications to function correctly, but for the most part, they're unneeded. So as you can see here, uh, you know, you have baked applications in, and then uh, after I did this, most of those applications were gone. Um, it's up to you. This was just a quick video. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you want to. Later. Keep it real.